Let's go! Dit is de stikke tot kampbord. We are going inside to Gistikutut Kobot's house. Gistikutut Kobot was born in 1917 at Pangosekan Mas Village, Ubud District, Kenyan. He is the son of Igusti Nyoman Sinep and Igusti Pudu In 1931, he graduated from a formal elementary school. In 1933, he began pursuing his passion for painting at Purel Plyatan, under teaching of artists named Chokorda Oka Gambir. Kobot learned traditional painting techniques with the Papichi theme. In 1934, after the arrival of re-owned Western painters in Bali, namely Walter Spice and Rudolf Bonnet, he continued their studies from these two artists. From this, he gained a massive knowledge, amount of knowledge of the anatomy and perspective of Western painting. Igutikut Kobot painted with trans traditional techniques at first using natural colors. After his interaction with Rudolf Bonnet, he grew accustomed to, be, to using imported colors. In 1936, along with other artists, Kobot decided to establish an organization of various artists called Pita Maha. This organization was under the guidance of Walter Spice, Rudolf Bonnet, and Chokorda Gede Agung Sukawati from Puri Ubud. Since then, Kobot participated in various local exhibitions, as well as national and international art-related activities. In 1946, after Rudolf Bonnet came back to Bali, he joined together to form an organization of artists called Golongan Pelukis Ubud. From 1949 to 1950 in Plevan Village, a painting course was established where Kobot was the only teacher. This course helped develop and grow many young talented art painters at that time. The theme of painting is still the dominant theme of Papisha and Hindu mythology, people's daily lives, and also Bali's folklore. Due to his services and achievements, Igzikutkobot, on April 18, 1978, obtained the Wija Kasuma Award from the Regional Government of Ganyan Regency. On 12 September 1981, he obtained the Dharma Kusuma Award from the Bali government. Hello, today we are now at Nekart Museum, a museum founded by Mr. Suteja Neka and Mrs. Srimun Neka. In this museum has four paintings from Igustika de Kobot. Those four paintings are a presentation of Ubud's style in the Pita Maha organization. Like, come on, let's go inside. Dalam sejarah perkembangan dilukis di Bali, nama Kobot tidak boleh terlepas di samping 
Kepat, Sobrat dan Ide Bagus Made Kobot pun sama zamannya dalam perkembangan seni lukis di Bali dalam organisasi utama tahun 30-an Untuk melengkapi koleksi musuh neka Jadi saya sebagai kolektor ingin memiliki karya kobot Maka sering saya datang ke rumah kobot Akhirnya gampang untuk mendapatkan ini Karena kobot merasa istri saya juga seorang gusti Dianggap keluarga Jadi lukis inilah yang pertama saya dapat Yaitu Brahma naik Jadi ini Brahma naik kuil mana Dan harganya terjangkau Dan jadilah pertama koleksi Gusti Kobot di Yusuf Neka dan sampai sekarang 1, 2, 3, 4 karya Kobot kita koleksi di gedung satu khusus hasil karya pelukis-pelukis yang berasal dari Bali See you next time at Viewpoint A4K.